Now obviously not all signal generators are the same type but this is a quite a common one that you find in schools it's made by Unilab these are these orange orange devices here you can see there are a few dials and switches um, the on off switch is here lightning's on um, we've got a frequency selector section here so we first of all have a scale dial so this tells us what the naught and the 10 on the main dial are up to so at the moment it's set to times 10 hertz and that means when I set it the main dial down there so it's pointing at 1 it's 1 times 10 hertz so that would be 10 times per second the signal output is changing and obviously that goes up so if I moved it there for example that would now be 80 if I change the scale on here to times 100 that would now mean 800 obviously and this signal generators tend to go down you know between about 0.1 and about 10 kilohertz I can also change the waveform type from a sine wave to a square wave to a sawtooth wave usually best as a sine wave for doing these types of experiments with standing waves this section of the signal generator is to do with the the voltage output you can see the triangular symbol here is the um, is a symbol for an op amp an operational amplifier and um, it has the capacity to be able to amplify signals you put into into this we don't want to amplify an external signal if I wanted to put a signal from something else into here to amplify I could plug it into these sockets here I could flick that switch down and that would now amplify whatever was coming into these um, by 200 times as you can see there if I flick that switch to int that means internal that means that it's now going to output the frequency that I've selected here there's a voltage attenuator here, the attenuator means reducer so I could reduce the voltage output if I wanted by either 10 times or 100 times probably don't want to do that, just leave it on, on 1 and then I can output either low or high, that means low impedance or high impedance and that's um, to do with matching the impedance of the device that you're plugging in now for vibration generators you probably want to use the low impedance setting uh, this so you need your your negative wire going into the green and your positive into the yellow it's actually not crucial which way around they go but that's the way that it would be and then the output is controlled by the amplitude dial here so obviously you can go from naught to maximum and that will control the maximum output signal um, now you want to make that one amp or less otherwise you'll damage your vibration generator in terms of other switches on here, we've got this modulation section here. That just basically wants to be off. These, they both want to be off. These um, signal generators have the ability to do frequency modulation with an external input or amplitude modulation with an external input. If you wanted to use either of those, you'd have to use those switches, but we, we need them to be off for this experiment.